What's happening, Truckers United is one, and what's happening, Red K Nation? Hopefully all you boys and girls got everything you asked for for Christmas. I'm still sicker than a dog, man. I, I, this pneumonia shit. This pneumonia is no joke. I probably should have stayed home a couple more days, but you know what? I, the bills don't take a pause when you're sick. You know, the bills still keep coming in. So with the holiday season and everything upon us, you know, I have to work. There's no uh, ifs, ands, buts about it. You know, believe me, if I get too sick, I will park. Uh, appreciate everybody's well wishes. It means a lot to me. Um, everybody on these two groups. We got a bunch of great people on here, man. We're almost up to 70 members on uh, Truckers United as one. Well, that's just awesome. I want to keep, I want to keep that page growing. So, if you guys want to contribute anything to the page, please feel free to do, you know, to contribute to it. Do your own tutorial videos or, you know, anything you want. As long as there's no bashing or hash trashing of other companies or drivers or anything like that. Um, just a friendly reminder. I want to keep this page clean. Um, there's other Facebook groups that you can join to talk shit about other companies or whatever. Uh, I don't want it here on my group, you know, and uh, everybody's been great with that so far. You know, we got a great group of guys on here uh, making, you know, friends that I talk to every day. So, yeah, it's just awesome and I appreciate it. Um, Christmas is over with, thank God. You know, every the last couple of years, every time Christmas rolls around, you know, financial crap bears its ugly head. It gets to the point where I dread seeing Christmas. But I'm glad it's over with. Now we just need to get through the new year and uh, start 2018 on a, on a good foot. Um, I'm feeling a little better. Um, posted a video earlier, I think. Was it this morning? I think I posted one. Uh, when I went home, I did end up going to an urgent care center, and uh, they diagnosed me with uh, severe bronchitis and the first stages of pneumonia. And that pneumonia is no joke. I've never had it before, but man, it just takes the life out of you. I swear to God, it's horrible. I'm still plugged up, but I feel a lot better than what I did. Of course, they got me on uh, some high potent antibiotics, and I'm even on an inhaler. So. I gotta try to quit smoking. This smoking cigarettes thing's gonna be the end of me, and I, I really need to concentrate on that. So I think this week I'm gonna try to switch back to vaping, and uh, you know I vape a lot too. And uh, anything you inhale except air is not really good for you. But water vapor versus cigarettes, you know, at least it's better for me than than burning cigarettes. So I'm gonna try to do that. I, I really need to quit smoking, and it, it's a tough habit to quit <gasps> my god is it a tough habit i don't know if anybody else out here smokes that's on this group i'm sure there is but you guys you know what i mean i mean it's it's a non-smoking person don't understand it they think we can just not buy it and quit and it's all good but it's a chemical addiction just like anything else um you know in my life luckily that's all i got addicted to was cigarettes i could have been addicted to a lot worse stuff you know what i mean so um, this will be, oh, my food's done. This will be your Wednesday video. Um, I just actually had a question out there. Um, if you have smoked in the past and you're a non-smoker now, what did you do to quit smoking? What, what, uh, uh, things did you do that you could pass on to somebody like me that wants to quit smoking, but is finding a real hard time doing it? Um, like some input on that. Um. I hope you all have a great week, and I hope you're home for the new year. Um, I'm sitting in Bolingbrook, Illinois at our yard right now, and I'm hitched a load that goes down to Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and I don't have to have that down there till Thursday, so I'm good. I got a day and a half to get it there, and I'm only 11 hours away, so tomorrow will be an easy day. I'll probably drive eight or nine hours and then call it a day and then truck it in there the next morning. But, uh, but yeah, if you got any suggestions on how to kick this whole smoking thing, if you've smoked in the past 
and you're not now a non-smoker what did you do to quit smoking uh, any feedback would be appreciated because uh, you know going on 50 years old I need to think about my health and uh, the smoking ain't gonna help at all uh, my dad smoked and he quit but he still ended up having uh, heart failure and uh, he was on a CPAP before he died, and he was diagnosed with uh, emphysema and stuff like that. So, you know, and I used to be an EMT firefighter. You think I'd know better, but uh, man, it's just it's a tough habit. It's a it's a bad habit. My wife doesn't smoke. You know, I, I married a woman that doesn't smoke, and I don't want my kids to pick it up. And I think they're smart enough. They're they're not going to pick it up. And if they did, my wife would beat their ass. So. You know, I don't smoke in the house when I'm home. I smoke outside, so. But when you're out here on the road, you have nothing to do. You're behind the wheel, so I end up probably smoking more in the truck than I do when I'm at home. When I'm at home, at least I got stuff to do and I'm running around. I can't smoke in the house, so. You know, a pack of cigarettes will last me all weekend at the house, but on the road, I'm up to a pack a day and I really need to quit. Uh, not to mention it's expensive. If you do the math on that, you know, $7 a pack times seven days a week times 52 weeks in a year that shit that's a lot of money i'm just burning up so i need to really quit and uh and try to occupy my time with something a little more healthier so that's about all i had today i just wanted to do a wednesday video i don't really have a topic like i said i've been sick for like the last week and a half so you know, I'll sit down and think of some topics to go over uh, in and around trucking or, you know, stuff that I've experienced. Uh, the last one was me being sick on the road, and that, that'll happen if you new guys out there, you know. You'll get in a truck and just get deathly sick, and, and you have to deal with it out here on the road. You know, I called my dispatcher this morning, and I told him, you know, hey, you know, I got pneumonia and bronchitis. I did go to the clinic, and... At first, I thought they were going to ground me. He come back with a message saying that I needed to get cleared before I could drive. And I'm like, I didn't go to the ER. I went to a clinic. So then I had to call safety, talk to them, and told them what happened. And they said, well, since I was on my downtime and they didn't put me off work, that I was fine. They didn't need anything from me. Thank God. Because, shit, that, that would have screwed me for this week if, if they would have made me get a clearance letter or something. But, but I'm all good. I've already drove, I don't know. 300 mile or so today from Swanton all the way to Juliet, Illinois, dropped my load and then went over here to the yard, picked up my next load, so not too bad of the day. It's fucking cold up here. The wind chill factor is 14 below zero here in the Chicago area, so it's going to be cold. I'm looking at the news right now. They're saying it's four above, four, four degrees above zero, but with the wind, uh, wind chill factor is minus 14. So if you're trucking in this part of the country, man, make sure you wear a winter hat, which I got mine here somewhere, and gloves. You know, if you're out in this shit for more than a half hour, you can get um, frostbite. So I got my heavy boots on, and I got my pullover and my heavy leather coat, and I got a beanie hat that I wear to cover my ears when I'm out dropping a trailer or whatever. But yeah, keep yourself warm. Make sure you bring extra blankets and stuff with you, too. Um, my S-Bar heater works pretty good, but when it gets this fucking cold, it still gets cold in this truck. So I got like three blankets in here I cover up with because I do not like to be cold. So with that, that's about all I had for today. I hope you guys uh, have a great week and get them miles. And if you're home for New Year's, you know, have a shot for me, will you? This is Trucker Dave, and I'll catch you later.